morning guys, welcome to today's video. I am a scorch, I was outside doing chores this morning and picking in my garden. <laughs> it, we are under like attack from Mr. Golden Sun, man. It is hot out there, like you would not believe. Today's uh, pick from the garden, there was a lot more I could pick, but I just try to pick a few things each day. I have a little bowl of beans that I've been eating from each day, but this is it. From today's haul, I have some ripening on the windowsill, cucumbers even, my zucchini back there, and I am in love with my garden. Yesterday I said I was so disappointed in it. I said that I didn't think I was getting enough. I'm, I, I think I'm getting it more than enough. I didn't plant as much as I usually plant because I was overridden with work. I was so overwhelmed with farm, getting the farm ready at the same time as spring gardening, spring planting happened. So we were buying new animals, getting things set up for the new season. When I put the garden in, I should have planted it bigger. I should have went more because I want to be able to feed our family. And basically it's just feeding like us for a short time but i'm okay with that i've been eating cucumbers every single day tomatoes every single day i'm obsessed once they get ripe i am putting them in the fridge so that they last a little but i already had a tomato sandwich today i've changed my mind you guys i'm completely happy with my yield i planted two different kinds of cucumbers this year i didn't realize sam bought me some seeds and i bought myself some seeds these are the ones i'm used to these ones i'm used to these ones too but these ones are different. They have like this yellow color. To me that looks overripe, but it's actually like the best. It's completely, perfectly ripe. Uh, I love the flavor of these ones the best. These ones are more traditional. These ones are phenomenal. And I also had some pink tomatoes today and they just fell right off the vine. I know they're not completely ripe yet, but they're definitely not like, they're definitely a different color and maybe they're just need to ripen, but I feel like these are a different kind of tomato too. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the beauty of my yield for this morning. I could have picked a lot more, but I can only carry so much in my shirt. <laughs> well, let's clean out the round bell feeder. We put... just wait, backstory. We haven't used the round feeder or the like round well, bale feeder. They eat once in a while, but. We haven't used the round bale feeder all summer because our horses have been on pasture. So with all the rain we've had, the stuff that's been stuck in there is getting kind of junky. So Sam decided to clean it out today because we're getting ready to start feeding hay again soon. I put hay in there for them today, a couple bales. And then I went to try and get them because I called them, but they don't like the sun They're in the barn. They're struggling They're just, with this yeah, heat. it's too hot for them. They're just too hot. They and only go out and eat at night now. And then uh, went around to try and get them and we have that little pig pool out there and it's wet on the ground and never wear Crocs man because I slipped, I slipped and fell in the pool, half in the pool, half. Is that why you're all wet and dirty? Up here I'm all wet because I fell in the pool and then uh, of course when you land on that pool the pool starts leaking. <laughs> it collapses. So. It's a pet pool so it just poured all over you. And Storm just looks out and looks at me. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? <laughs> At least he cared. He still didn't want to come out of the barn, so I said, the hell with that? I put the hay out there if you want it. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for being the nice guy. So we've been keeping a huge secret from you guys. Last Thursday, last Tuesday, so four days ago, we had this huge dilemma. I videoed it. We found some puppies and Gabby, no, Sophie and Sam both wanted a puppy. They both wanted different puppies. We were like, we do not need another puppy, especially either of these breeds. If we get another puppy, it's going to be a specific breed that is useful for our farm. And we left the place. We knew that we were not going to get a puppy. I told Sophie, nope, no puppy. Everything was fine. But then before long, I turned around and Sam came back as a puppy. So you guys, meet Kirby. That's the name that everybody decided, not me. It's not my dog and I am not claiming any part of this decision or this puppy, even though she's amazing. So, so uh, this is the puppy that Sophie wanted. Sam actually went back, was gonna get the dog that he wanted because he wants to have a dog that follows him on, its, on his own. Like he wants a dog of his own. He has Ruby. Ruby doesn't choose him. Ruby chooses me. So when he went back to to get his puppy, it would, had already sold. And the only girl left was this little girl. And he got her. And he came home with her. So if he was in the middle of a riding lesson, I might, I'm going to post that tonight. 
So, or I'm going to post it tomorrow. I'll post that riding video tonight. I haven't looked at it yet, but it's possible that you can see the puppy in that video. I don't know if I videoed it. Anyway, he brought her home and he said, listen, I just felt like I wanted her. Like he wants a dog that follows him around that he can train to he he didn't do that with with ruby when we got ruby he was working outside of our house and he was busy all the time now he's home all the time it just was a different time and a different situation and he wants a dog like he sees me with ellie who follows my every move and does everything with me and he wants that for himself is this the right breed for that I don't know there are problems with this breed clearly she is a mix so um so i should tell you that she was sold as a blue healer puppy but she blue healers you guys know they typically have like a more square face they have shorter ears um and this girl has the ears of a german shepherd and she has like a bit of a slope to her back end like a german shepherd and she has that more narrow face like a german shepherd not the square uh healer face so she was unexpected i wasn't expecting her sophie was hoping for her um how's it going sophie how is how's it working like is this dad's dog or your dog Both. so they've decided to split and it's been working out incredibly well because sam isn't as energetic as sophie sophie does a lot of the work and then sam does a lot of the training so i taught her how to lay down it's funny because she jumps up slides down <laughs> Does she? You taught her to lay down? Yeah. Okay, show me. Yay, good girl. As you guys know, these dogs are really good with cattle, but they can be hard on other animals. Uh, I can already see that she definitely has healer in her. So she's going to need a lot of training. They're good guard dogs, but they're loud and they can be troublesome with strangers. So that is something that we have to take into consideration. Also, these guys are so smart. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, these guys are 10 out of 10 or even 20 out of 10 smart. This puppy, when Molly is so smart, she's our smartest dog and she was not nearly as quick as this puppy as a puppy like molly was so hard to potty train she was still potty training her at like five months this puppy we've had for four days and she's really doing amazing on her potty training so she's 10 out of 10 smart but then there's also the part that that means that she's going to need a lot of stimulation and we have a big farm and she can run and she can be free and it's a good environment for her we have a lot going on but because of her hurting like tendencies that's going to be an issue keeping her safe from like the horses because she's only gonna nip at those heels one time and but anyway having said all that this dog does not seem like she's leaving anytime soon Sam has been taking with her taking her with him every day to the barn to do chores morning and night and she's been phenomenal he trained her so quickly to stay out of the horse field the first couple of times she went underneath the fence to be with him she follows him everywhere that's the thing that he loves she just follows him and if he like leaves the room she leaves the room and that's what he really wants he wants that companionship and then he trained her not to go under the fence and to stay out of the horse field so that has been beneficial so that's promising. Clearly, she needs a lot of training. Uh-oh, she's rolling Kirby. in something. Come here. And again, she is a mix. So um, hopefully her drive won't be as bad as if she were a purebred. So we have high hopes. Sophie's wanted a healer puppy, a blue, or did you want blue or red? She wanted a blue healer uh, for the last year or so. She's really been wanting it. It doesn't mean that Daisy's gonna get any less love and attention. Daisy loves the puppy. Ellie loves the puppy. Ruby loves the puppy. The only one who doesn't really love the puppy is Molly. And Molly is just not that kind of a dog. She's good with the puppy. She just doesn't, she's not like, she's like Penny. She stays in her own herd. She doesn't like join the group. Does that make sense? Molly's kind of like the boss of the herd and she doesn't fraternize with the employees. But anyway, meet Kirby. I don't know how she got her name because I was trying to stay away from the whole Gabby. situation. Gabby named her. Yeah, Gabby likes her too. She's definitely a Molly type dog. Yeah, she likes digging. Yeah, but she's pretty laid back. I mean, she's only a baby and we've only had her four days, but when we first got her, she, oh, thank you very much. She's like, thank you guys. I'm like, hello guys. <laughs> welcome to my meeting welcome to meeting me oh 
Anyways, don't let her dig holes. Molly dug that hole. Uh, yeah, she's a Molly dog for sure. There are challenges that come with every single breed of dog. Um, it's a matter of trying to find one that suits your environment and your lifestyle. And just like Ellie and Molly suit our lifestyle, I suspect that she will too. The dogs I find that don't suit our lifestyle as much are our family dogs. Like um, Ruby is fine here though. She's like kind of on the border. She does great here. She's just not like a working kind of dog, not wanting to run the whole farm all the time, but she's getting older, so maybe that's why. Um, and then our deaf dog definitely would do better um, without be without like a lot of animals around, like with the horses and the stuff that scare her. But we're able to provide that for her because we have everything behind huge fences. She can't get in there. She doesn't even try and get in there. And then outside the fences where the li where the livestock are, she is able to have like a regular backyard and run and be free. I don't know if it's gonna go well. Uh, we're gonna keep you guys posted. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be able to share insight on training techniques. We're gonna be doing some research in that. Uh, she's already been off to a really good start. She's a genius dog. I never thought I'd want a blue healer. I never thought I would like a blue healer. I love her. I didn't at first. Like I was like, oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. It's a dumb idea. That by day four, I'm like, oh, I love this puppy. I still believe that all children need to experience disappointment sometimes, though. It really helps to learn to deal with disappointment when you're young with the small stuff before you're older and it gets into the big stuff. But anyway, meet Kirby, our new little puppy. I wanted to say that a large part of Sam wanting to get a dog that he could train up as a puppy was an idea that his therapist put in his head recently. She felt that it would be beneficial for him to have a dog. He does see how having a dog, a partner in crime that he can have follow him around the farm during the day will help keep him more active and will also help him with other things that he's going through. I don't pretend to know what's best for Sam. He's a grown man. But I believe in him, and I know that he knows what's right for him. I feel like I'm being stalked. <laughs> Look at her little tail. She just looked me in the face a second ago. She's like, what happened to my pool? <laughs> Sam crashed her pool. So Kirby's met all the animals. She definitely follows Sophie and Sam. If you guys missed our recent saddle fit video, then you might not know that we had the saddle fitter come to assess Sophie on her saddle and see what we can do for Lady. We were able to have him assess three different saddles and Sophie saddle fits Lady the best. Because she's changing disciplines and is needing to build different muscles for Hunter Jumper, which Sophie wants to do with her, she still needs to build up a lot in the back end. And so until that happens, probably about three months, uh, it's stupid to to fit her for a brand new saddle. So the saddle fitter tasked us with um, buying a few things and then he's going to come back and show us how to adjust Sophie's saddle easily so that it will fit her temporarily so that she's able to build up the muscles she needs to in her back so that we can get Sophie and Lady a custom saddle. So he wanted us to order a new half pad and it should be here tomorrow, which is super exciting. So you'll be going to a show again soon and we want to make sure that we have the saddle perfectly fit to both of them before they go to the show. But the hard part, the puppy just stole um, one of Sophie's <laughs> grooming brushes. But anyway, the hard part is that he says that the best material for shims is yoga mats. He says that cutting up a yoga mat into the right size and shape of a shim for a saddle pad is superior to any other shims on the market today. The ones from CWD that cost so much money that were supposed to be the perfect ones. Sophie's coming back with her brush. So anyway, we, we rose to the challenge and we got ourselves a couple of different widths of um, yoga mats and he gave me his explicit written directions on how we're going to build up Sophie's saddle so that we maintain all the issues that we need to maintain. So I got this really thick one that is so cushy. It's so soft and so nice. It's a bit thick. And then I got this really thin regular one. So I'm hoping to be able to use both of these to make shims and do it in the exact directions that he told me. And then I'm going to show you guys 
what we what we did and then we're gonna try the saddle on hopefully we're gonna do all that tomorrow it's gonna i'm so excited like i'm excited to at least have a plan and if it doesn't work it was literally like 150 bucks to try and get all the things done and he said that he'll come back and he'll help us with it so he'll come back and um, he will readjust it all and make sure that we have it set up correctly so that Sophie's good. We'll have the trainer also assess it after we get it all fixed up. So I'm excited to do that. I can't wait. I'm doing it tomorrow. She took the brush twice and ran as fast as she could. <laughs> Same one. Too. Yeah, just like my pig. I see what you did there. She used to complain that my pig did that. Anyway, when we got the puppy the first couple of days, she was, she was, didn't seem super handled, super socialized. She was so scared. We had to go really slow. Uh, Sophie and Sam were the only ones that really handled her and she ponded so fast. And so we're on day four now. At the end of day three, she started to like really come out of her shell. So the honeymoon is over. She was perfect. <laughs> and then last night she chased the chickens for a second and Sam called her and she came back to him. So she's easily, obviously trainable. And now today she's grabbing things and running off with them. Just like regular puppy behavior. She grabbed it and ran for her body. <laughs> Goodbye, Kirby. Comment below all your knowledge about healers. I definitely know that they're genius dogs. I know that there's gonna be a lot of problems because they are cow dogs. They're cattle dogs. They're meant to like nip at the heels of cows. And like I said, we don't want her nipping at the heels of our chickens or our horses. Kirby, goodbye. Or even our goat. Don't you know that you're beautiful?